These are the most hated on basketball players we have ever covered. Obviously, we promote them to get love, but we all know the internet can be filled with haters. Let's get to it. Ben Simmons is a 6'10 point guard, and he has the abilities to make him a Hall of Fame player. However, he's gotten some of the most criticism of any NBA player as of late. People don't like that he passes up open shots and sits out games. And what's crazy is we covered him in high school and bro could definitely shoot. I think it's all mental with Ben Simmons and I wish the fans would give him a break sometimes. A role player being hated in the NBA is rare, but Grayson Allen has gotten that title. He made some questionable plays at Duke and in the NBA where you wonder if he did these things on purpose. He comes up frequently on the most hated NBA players. And a lot of that is due to his foul on Alex Caruso that sidelined him for two months. Eli Ellis, in my opinion, is one of the top players in the 2025 class. I have seen him play against the best in the country and he even held his own in the Drew League. This kid is special, and opponents really hate the way he talks when he's giving them buckets. Someone commented on our YouTube, this kid is like the slower, taller version of Julian Newman, also a defensive liability. Mind you, this grown man has never seen Eli play. And his brother, Isaac Ellis, is the type of player that nags you all game. He knows exactly what to say to get under your skin, and that's why he gets so much hate. People comment stuff like, I don't like this kid at all. This is a classic interaction at the Adidas Championships last summer. These boys were going at it with the toughest team in ATL. Shout out Game Elite. Game Elite ended up getting the win, but it was an amazing game. Zion Williamson was one of the most beloved coming out of high school and into his first year at Duke. But an adult star named Moriah Mills has been tarnishing his image. On top of the off the court stuff, he hasn't been able to stay healthy. NBA fans act like injuries are his fault and never give him the benefit of the doubt. Honestly, I think Zion is going to come back from injury better than ever. Jared McCain is a five-star guard in the 2023 class committed to Duke. People hate on him because he's a TikTok star and still goes off in the most elite events. Bro has over 2 million followers on TikTok and he'll make videos like this and drop 40 on you an hour later. Bronny James has been in the spotlight since he was born and yet he still rises to every challenge put in front of him. People hate on him because his dad has been terrorizing the league for over 20 years. He really gets unwarranted hate because all he does is hoop. This man doesn't even celebrate after big plays or anything. Super humble kid and he's going to go crazy at USC next year. It is legitimately Nelson Newman and Cam Wilder summer these boys are beloved by so many, but that comes with hate. People were talking crazy during this game. This grown man was yelling at him to stop crying after he got pushed out. <laughs> Nelson really has kids asking him, will you sign my Kobe's? Love what Cam Wilder, Nelson, and Rod Wave Elite are doing. They really have the summer on smash. Michi Baldhead Terry feeds into the hate. He wants to be hated because I truly believe that's what drives him. Michi is from Cleveland, Ohio, and he calls himself the clamp guy. And someone said, I've been waiting for my pops to come back from the store for 15 years. Turns out he's playing high school basketball. Come on, man. The disrespect is unreal. Jordan Poole is a courtside camp alum, and we have been rooting for him since the beginning. When he went to the Warriors, it looked like the perfect situation, and then he even won a chip. 
But a lot of sources came out and said, even before Draymond attacked him, him and the Warriors locker room were not getting along. I think he gets a nice fresh start in Washington and he can be the first option. I'm gonna keep it a buck like Antetokounmpo. Julian Newman may be the most hated on this list and if he's not, he's pretty close. I'm not sure where the tables turned. He was a child star and everyone loved him. Someone really commented on our video, am I the only one who feels satisfied seeing Julian being destroyed? What did he do to make people feel this way? If y'all know, comment below. And similarly, his sister takes on a lot of disrespect too. Jaden Newman receives all the hate under her videos. She got into a scuffle in Ohio and people love to see her upset. The Newman family really has a lot of haters. After doing research into some of the NBA guys we covered, one of the most frequent quote unquote most hated was Tyler Hero. Hero is on the Miami Heat and has had a pretty solid four year career. However, many opposing fans feel he is too cocky. His brothers get a lot of the same hate. I think the Heralds are just confident people. You have Austin who just committed to South Carolina and the youngest brother, Miles, who is going into his junior year at the same high school Tyler Hero got his jersey retired. These boys have been successful, and with success comes confidence. Dior Johnson is self-proclaimed most hated. He even got it tatted on his legs. But I think more than anything, he is misunderstood. People dislike him because he went to 10 different high schools in less than four years. And now he found a home at Pittsburgh where the 19 year old can flourish. Imani Bates was the youngest to ever grace the cover of Sports Illustrated at just 15. Haters will always say he can never stay out of trouble. Well, if you came from where some of these kids come from, you wouldn't even have gotten it this far. Save this video. Amani Bates will have a successful NBA career. He's only 19 years old. I know it doesn't mean a ton, but he is a summer league champion. That is a great start to his career. The world's tallest teenager, Olivier Ryu, stands at seven foot six, and he's a dominant force in the paint. Haters always complain and say he's too big or he can't move well. I argue that if they were seven six, they wouldn't be nearly as talented as he is. Olivier has a chance to make it far with basketball. Naya Morant is the little sister of Ja Morant. Ja is always supporting her, but there are so many mean comments on her videos. A lot of the hate comes from having ties to Ja. One YouTube comment said, hopefully she doesn't become a talker without winning anything like her brother and his teammates. People are ridiculous, but I wish nothing but the best for both Naya and Ja. Bruh, these fourth graders nowadays, I think they got the wrong baby formula, is one of the comments we got on Terry T3 Holt's videos. Terry is one of the top kids in the 2031 class, and his handles are crazy. People always complain about him celebrating after buckets, but it's just his style of play and it works. And his teammate, David Ice, is not your average fourth grader. He was attempting dunks a few months ago and no one believes he's only 10 years old. Some kids grow faster and I guess Ice is a prime example. Trey Young is on this list solely because the whole state of New York has beef with Ice Trey. Honestly, he's only really hated because of his talent. And he's had some legendary moments where he did that infamous shiver celebration. I wonder how far him and DeJounte Murray can go in Atlanta. Mikey Williams blew up after playing with Bronny James, Gabe Cups, and the Blue Chips back in middle school. He was the best player on the team and was even labeled the best 14 year old in the world. A lot of the haters came later 
when he was the first American high school basketball player to sign with a global footwear company. Shout out Puma. He has a lot to prove this year at Memphis, but he has surprised people at every step of his young career. These third graders went super viral and they had a lot of mixed reviews. Kevin Durant said, him and his boys used to imitate the NBA. Good stuff, little homies. And then you had guys like Isaiah Thomas who said, the game is in a bad place with all the extras. Evan Fournier said, shaking my head, we need to set a better example for this new generation. Regardless of how you feel, these kids are nine years old and it's not like they're physically harming anyone. They got buckets and had fun celebrating. Shout out Kaysen Angert and Zion Lancaster. Dylan Brooks was the most hated player in the 2022-23 season. He injured Gary Payton in last year's playoffs. He hit Donovan Mitchell in the groin area. And he said he doesn't like Draymond Green in the Warriors and claimed the Memphis Grizzlies are a dynasty. The list is long and Brooks' trash talk has not helped him. I read that directly from Sports Brief. Maybe he is able to revitalize his image now that he is going to a young, talented Houston Rockets squad. Now I don't have to get too far into details, but Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark had us glued to our TVs during March Madness. It was a polarizing scene. You had Clark and Iowa versus Reese and LSU. People thought Angel Reese took things too far when she did what Clark did a game earlier. Regardless of what side you were on, Clark and Reese got a lot of hate from this. And at the end of the day, both of them are going to go on to have successful basketball careers. But I had to put them in the video. Our boy Tristan Jazz came to two courtside camps and later went on to become a YouTube icon. He garnered a lot of hate along the way. One of the comments on our YouTube read, he is undersized, doesn't have crazy athleticism, his handles are not crazy, and he isn't that great of a passer. Why is he different? While this person is sitting on the couch commenting about him, Tristan Jazz is sitting courtside at Buddy's favorite NBA games. LaMelo and the Ball Brothers burst into the national spotlight after their team Chino Hills went undefeated and took out some big name teams. LaMelo, the youngest of the brothers, has had a target on his back since he was in 8th grade. It is something about young people who do well that cause haters to want to see their demise. Same with LiAngelo. People disrespectfully refer to him as the lost ball brother. And what's crazy is LiAngelo can cook any of them. He is actually super talented. LaVar placed more expectations on the kids than the entire world, and they made it further than a lot of people would have assumed. I'm hoping Lonzo gets healthy. Moral of the story is, people will hate no matter how much success or accolades you receive. Focus on yourself and keep pushing. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.